so I'm a little sick, but I'm gonna try to get through this video anyways. It's been a crazy week, but I have been holding off making videos on this particular channel called Girl Defined. This is the first video in a series of several videos that I plan on making, but this is the first one that caught my eye. How Christian guys describe a godly girl. I had a very hard time getting through this video because, man, it's misogynistic. And like, I, I say that word normally very carefully because I hate that ultra feminist vibe that people tend to have when they say, oh, this is misogynistic and down with the patriarchy. But this here is like the opposite extreme. This is like super religious dudes who think women belong in the kitchen, and I'm not kidding. I define a godly girl as a girl who is wholeheartedly pursuing God with her life. Ah, oh, damn. And to think I could have had a chance with these awesome guys. I just, I just don't pursue God enough. A godly girl to me really understands that being a wife and a mother is an extremely high calling. <laughs> okay, um, being a wife and a mother can be very fulfilling for a lot of people. Uh, my issue with this video is kind of the implication that that is the highest calling to which a woman can achieve, or rather a girl. They never say woman. Like the ultimate dream that you should have if you're a woman is to be a wife, to be a mother, and to serve the Lord. That's it. So to me, a godly girl is a girl who loves the Lord with all her heart and wants to serve him. Wants to serve him. They use this word serve and servant Throughout the video, I'm kind, of, I'm kind of detecting a theme. I really admire when girls dress modestly. Oh, oh, there we have it. Th there it is. Tam, I just, my chances of getting with these sexy dudes just keeps getting further and further. Dresses modestly, man. Now, now they're telling us what to wear. But wait, there's more. I really admire a girl who is content with where God has her in life. A girl who is content with where God has her in life. Correct me if I'm wrong. But the vibe that I'm getting from this is that you should be happy with what you have and therefore you shouldn't pursue anything further. Like, don't be ambitious, <laughs> don't have dreams, don't have goals, just be happy with where you are, what God gave you, you know, and that's it. That, that's it for you. I admire a girl who has love for people. Okay, I can get on board with that. That's like the first, the first legitimate thing that, that they've said. Someone who's loving. Okay. I know a girl who really prioritizes God in her life. Every morning she talks with the Lord through prayer and reads her Bible and really just yearns to hear from the Lord. This clip is the one that really got to me the most, I think. Um, I just felt this like sinking feeling in my heart because this guy is my dream guy. Um, and I don't do those things. I, I don't think I'll ever get up in the morning and think of Jesus first, you know? And, and my chances of being with him now are so much further. What, you know, what is the purpose of my life now? Uh, the qualities I admire most in the girl are having a servant's heart and uh, doing things when she's not told to do them by her parents. Oh my God, he keeps getting sexier and sexier. Having a servant's heart and doing things before she's even told to do them. You don't even have to tell this bitch what to do. She just knows. She does her chores. She makes you dinner. She feeds the baby. She gets down on her knees and pleases Jesus. A godly girl to me spends time with the real people in her life rather than spending all her time on social media. To a degree, I get it. Like, you don't want to spend all of your time on the phone or all of your time on the internet. But like, this rule applies to everyone. Dudes are just as attached to their phones as girls are. What I find unattractive in a girl is someone who is totally self-focused. What I find unattractive in a girl. So of course you don't want to have someone who is selfish. But the problem here is they're not saying anything else that is encouraging a woman to be an individual, to be creative, to be independent, to have her own career path, to have her own goals and ambitions and dreams. It's all very much focused on serving other people. So right, you don't want someone who is selfish, but at the same time, like, encourage some kind of individuality. I find a girl unattractive. I find a girl unattractive. When she tries to draw attention to herself. Again, you don't want someone who always has to be the center of attention, like, everybody focus on me all the time, it's about me. Like, you don't want that in your life, but like, to never draw attention to yourself ever is like to never be proud of something, to never display something that you've worked hard on, to never have someone congratulate you for some kind of success in your life. Like they don't put any of these things in context and it just comes across like very demeaning. Am I, am I off base? Please tell me in the comments below, am I off base by getting like a really creepy vibe from all these dudes? I find it unattractive when a girl is really loud and boisterous. What? <laughs> like, what? 
when a girl is loud and boisterous, like, you mean someone with an outgoing personality? God doesn't like that. God likes a woman who sits down and keeps her damn mouth shut. It's really unattractive when a girl dresses immodestly. Tell me some more about how I should dress. Tell me what clothes I should wear, please. Explain this to me. Qualities I'm praying for in a future wife would be definitely servant's heart and uh, having the joy of the Lord. Unfortunately, sir, I will never be your future wife. My loss. I'm looking for a girl who has a passionate love for being a wife and for being a mother. Again, like, there's nothing wrong with having a passionate love for being a wife and being a mother. These are things that I hope that I have one day. Uh, but like, you don't ever mention anything else. A passionate love for something that she's pursuing outside of her motherly, wifely duties. What about a passion for a career? Passion for music? Passion for art? Why does everything have to be so focused on being barefoot and pregnant in the kitchen? I just want to thank all the godly girls out there who are striving to honor God with their lives. Ugh, guy wise. I just, I just kind of want to punch him in his face. So in summary, the highest quality that you can have as a woman or rather a girl, is to marry one of these pathetic losers, bear their children, and serve the Lord. That's right, ladies. All you have to do to score one of these sexy men is to get your barefoot and pregnant ass back there in the kitchen where it belongs. Hopefully you can make your hubby dinner before he gets home, and if you have time, you can even pray to Jesus too. That's right, women of the world, you hear that? All you have to do to be appealing is to have no further ambitions than being a wife and a mother. Keep quiet, dress modestly, and stay off the internet. There's scary things like knowledge out there. Turn off those brains and turn on those ovens and you too can score one of these average looking, arrogant, pathetic buff faces. Hurry now before they're all gone. See, I just look me for a girl who loves her son Jesus. I really love when a woman makes me dinner. Now, and when she makes me dinner, it better not fucking be late, because I get home from work and I am hungry. I like me a woman who lets me have my way with her whenever I please. I mean, how else is she gonna make me some babies? I mean, I get home and I say, woman, have my children. You know, and she does it, but that's what God wants, you know? It's not that I want it, and I'm just saying that God wants it because I want it. It's because God wants it. I just don't really want her to have any goals or dreams of her own, Cause that's something that intimidates me. She should not go on the internet. You can find out all kinds of shit on the internet, like knowledge about things that I don't want you to have knowledge on. Like she might start looking for a job or some shit. And that certainly does not serve the Lord. Yeah, she gets on this pretty little dress, but it shows a little bit too much skin and that just makes her look like a goddamn slut. I don't want nobody else to be having impure thoughts about you. And if they do, it's your fucking fault. And of course, I say all this in the name of the Lord. Who knows, hopefully I get laid one day. So out of curiosity, I tweeted asking the men in my audience who are atheists what they look for in a woman. Honesty, intelligence, fun person to be around, communication, that's important, independence, holy shit, open-mindedness, educated, sense of humor, intelligence, good conversation, reasonable expectations, willing to accept me for who I am, someone with similar interests and passions, and there's my boyfriend. <laughs> Intellect, confidence, rational approach to life, sound moral foundation, intelligence, common sense, just being herself, wit, intellect, literacy, confidence, Life balance, intellectual curiosity, intelligence, humor, happy-go-lucky, intelligence is the most attractive quality, rationality, intelligence, critical thinking, sense of humor, being interesting to talk to. You can see the theme here. Note that none of these religious dudes, not one of them mentioned intelligence. Not one. Not one of them mentioned creativity. Not one of them mentioned confidence, independence. Basically anything that makes a person themselves unique, an individual. None of those things were mentioned. Now, granted, I will say this before everyone jumps down my throat in the comments. These Christian dudes are not representative of every Christian guy out there. Of course, there are plenty of people who are religious who do not think in this way, but this video in particular is one that I found to be incredibly misogynistic. And unfortunately, misogyny is kind of a theme that runs through the Bible and is a part of a lot of Christians still today, a part of their thought processes. And even if it is something that's rare, I think it is worth noting that it's a mindset that prevails even today. And if nothing else, this video was pretty freaking hilarious. These guys were a parody of themselves and I could not help, I could not help but react to this video. So I hope you guys, I hope you liked it. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. And like I said, 
I will be making many more videos dedicated to this channel because the two girls that are typically the ones that run it are, oh, there's so much content there for me. Again, thanks for watching. All my social media links are in the description below. Leave a comment, let me know what you think, and I'll see you later.